Hey everybody, welcome to Mayfield Fitness. What is going on, my fellow YouTuber, fan favorite people? So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook different types of baits slash lures. So, and I'm also going to be showing you how they work in the water with different types of hooks um, in my bathtub. So, we have different types of uh, swim baits. We have two different types of uh, worms, like a trick worm slash paddle tail, a regular, regular um, Cinco slash worm. We've got another swim bait without the paddle tail. We've got a creature, which this is a crawl, or it's supposed to imitate a crawl. We have something more like a nuke punch, um, supposed to imitate another different creature. And then last, we also have the frog, which this, I'm just going to show you how it's imitated in the water in different ways you can use it. We also have a jig. And last but not least, we also have a buzz bait, which is very similar to how you would use um, a spinner bait as well. So I'll show you how to rig these with different types of hooks. I will name the hooks, uh, hook types it's called, like the Texas rig, the Ned rig, um, there's another one called the, the Norm rig, which is, a, I'm not going to use it because I don't have an extra rattle to put one of these. But I will show you different types of hooks. Um, I want to put y'all in my bathtub as well as show you on my little broken rod how to uh, use your rod to jerk, or how to use it slow or fast, or your reeling, how you're jerking. I forgot to show you also have a spinner bait. So different types of lures, different types of hooks. We will show you all that in this video. Hope this instructional video is very helpful for people who are trying to learn new stuff or, or trailer hunt fish. So I'll see y'all with my hook in my bathroom. So the first rig I'm going to show you is called a Texas rig. So what you want is either an extra wide hook gap or one of the straight bar ones. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come through the top of the lure, like a worm. You can actually use these on all of these creature baits, worms, swim baits, with no hooks. I'm going to show you a simple way to do it using the Cinco. So you're going to come through the top, go all the way down until you hit the top of the hook. You're going to come out, you're going to slide the worm or the bait all the way around. Once you get to the edge right here, you're going to slide it up. You're going to measure out where the hook is going to go in the arm, the, the bait. You're going to put your finger there so you know where to go. You're going to put the hook inside the worm or the bait. And you're going to pull straight as so. And then you are going to pull back just a little bit to hide the actual tip of the hook. And that is a Texas rig. Next rig I'm going to, next rig, the next rig I'm going to show you is the Texas rig, weighted, weightless Texas rig. I will use this little prong. Most of these worms and creatures are going to use kind of the same technique, the pop, Twist. You can also swim a lot of these baits that have the tails or the crawls.
The next rig I'm gonna show you is the weighted Texas rig. So you wanna take your little weights. I like to use bullet weights. I think they work best. Also getting in and out of those grassy areas, it helps keep it as weedless as possible. The weighted Texas rig is also meant to help keep your weight on the bottom of the water bed you are working. They are really good for using during the spawning season for bass. The next type of rig I'm going to show you is called a wacky rig. What you're going to need is a circle hook or a regular hook without the top side. You're going to need a bait. Mostly these work with just worms. I wouldn't use um, any other kind of creature bait or swim bait to do this with. But you're going to take your hook, you're going to find the center, you're going to stick in your hook. I really hope this isn't focus. Right in the center, just like that. Just the worm hooked on. And while you're using this, you're just going to jank it up as if you were. Jerk up the rod as it, the same way with the net rig. You can also do this while reeling in. This is really good. The next bait I was showing you is like a trick worm slash pow tail worm. You would swim these. You can use these like um, regular other Texas rigs, weighted or unweighted. And the whole point of these paddle tails is just to move water. The next rig I am going to show you is going to be called the Ned Rig, which is where you're going to need a weight, a wacky rig already set up. You're going to stick the weight and screw it into the top of the worm. So when you are bouncing your wacky rig, the head will automatically sink to the bottom. So you just bounce. And this is a weighted rig. So without it, it's a weightless. With it, it's a weighted rig. So I know it would be hard to tell, but I'm using the net rig right now. Tighten up the line a little bit, bob it, and as it bops, the head where the weight is, is going to hit the ground. Next I'm going to show you is how to set up a jig. So typically jigs, spinner baits, that's not a spinner bait, spinner baits and buzz baits. You rig all the same way. So I am going to use the jig to give this demonstration and a paddle tail. So what I like to do, not everybody has to do this. I like to take the, the swim bait and I like to match it up with the head of the jig or buzz bait or spinner bait. So that's about yay where you want the hook to go come out of. Move back the grass protector. Coming through. Slide it all the way up. Where your finger was, you're going to want to pull the hook out. A lot of these uh, swim baits, you don't have to use swim baits, you can use creatures. And I've even seen see, some people use worms. They've got openings at the top and at the bottom. 
So it should look just like it. I did put this on backwards. Dang it. So it should look something like that. With the open of the hook up, the paddle tail bait facing down. Or if you were to just use a regular creature, it would look like this. The next lure slash jig I'll be showing you how to use is the actual jig. Now this, a swim jig, a football jig, a rock jig, can work all of these the same things. You really want to use these to have bang off of like rocks or swim through kind of to imitate like a dying fish. Um, you can also imitate these, these, uh, these little flex things, the wire. Plastic line wire is to keep it from getting snagged in weeds, brushes, other different kinds of structures that it possibly could get snagged on. The next bait I was showing you how to use is the buzz bait. Now this will be a top water action moving bait lure and you're going to want to consistently move these. You can do dead stop versus where you stop it in the middle of the water to see if you can catch a fish off guard or catch a bite. The next lure I'm going to be showing you how to use is the spinnerbait. It's supposed to imitate a swimming fish. You can jump these up and down like other jigs or like within the, the Texas rig. The next lure I'm going to show you how to use would be a swim bait. Now these can come in plastics, hard plastics, or soft plastics. And these are supposed to actually imitate real fish. Now this one, I could have put the uh, another the line down here and had it swim different, but I decided to put a treble hook because I wanted a better chance of catching the fish when I was using this. Did it help? No. The last lure slash bait I'm going to show you how to use is the frog. These are mostly top water something that you want to get in between different types of lily pads or structure um, you can also some of these are uh, you can swim just below the surface and these are supposed to really honestly trigger fast strike hits you always have to you can always dead stick it which is where you just move it let it sit move it let it sit Move it, let it sit. The next would be a Carolina rig, where you would take your weight, you would take your line, your hook, and you would take a weight, and you would feed it up further than your weight. That way your weight is dragged from behind the weight. The weight drags all on the bottom of the floor of whatever you're fishing. Mind you, you don't have to use these type of weights, it's all different types of weights. So essentially, with your wacky rig, it'll... Last but not least, you would use a bobber. A lot of this is usually used for live bait. So worms, bait fish, you take your bobber, you take it, let's see. You're in a uh, two foot pond, so I put it right at about a foot and a half worth of line down. Put my bobber on. Make sure there's hooks on the bottom, and there's typically hooks on the top. I like to put it through both, not everybody does it that way. So when it sits at the uh, bottom, say this is a worm. 
So essentially, you would have your bait at the bottom, either a few inches or a few feet from the bottom, and you'd have your bobber. And when the fish decides to take the weight, pulls the bobber down, letting you know you have a bite. You just simply just set the hook and uh, hook the fish, reel it in. Now you caught a fish. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video on how to put bait or slash lures on hooks. Enjoying my great presentation on how to use the baits in water and slash how to use your rods. I hope you guys come back, watch the next video. So please like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what y'all think or what y'all you want to see. I will see you in the next one. You've got mail. You've 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 got you've got mail.